Hey, what's up everyone? It's Sion, the producer. Yeah, welcome to the channel. I know, I still have this Post Malone sign. I should really just change it to something else. Huh, okay. Well, anyways, while I'm trying to, like, remove this sign, let's talk. So, over the past, well, what is it, three years since I've been a mobile music producer, my main DAW has been GarageBand. Now, I did dabble on a few other doors, like Nano Studio 2, Gadget 2, Koala, Groovebox, um... And I bought Cubasis and Arm. Um, but I never, and of course Zen Beats too. But I never really went full deep where I changed my entire workflow to revolve around it other than GarageBand and the Amplify apps. So I'm thinking of doing something different in the coming weeks or months. I'm not sure how long it's going to last because I wonder if I can resist the urge to go back into GarageBand. I mean, I, I'm still going to do more GarageBand mobile iPhone videos because I feel like I still want to do that but I want to switch up my iPad production a little bit there's some apps I haven't used enough of Mixbox is one of them I haven't used the fab filter in other words I want to see what pro means so this one goes out to you I'm gonna make a community post where I'm gonna ask y'all to vote pick whichever apps you want me to use I'm gonna upgrade my Groovebox app that's gonna be gadget too my previous workflow has always involved Groovebox, Bloxwave, Launchpad, and a DAW, which is usually GarageBand. But I want to switch things up a little bit. I definitely want my Groovebox application to be a similar workflow like a Groovebox. This time I will make it Gadget too. For my Bloxwave, I think I'm going to replace it with Koala Sampler. For my Launchpad, I will use Remix Live. But I'm not sure about the DAW. I don't want to use GarageBand just because it's what I'm familiar with. And it doesn't have to be necessarily for mobile. I want my DAW to be where I finish the idea. So let me know your thoughts. There's a few stuff that's coming in my head right now. Nano Studio 2 is one of them. Cubasis is another one. Cubasis 2. I don't have Cubasis 3. I do have it on Android though. But I don't have Cubasis 3. I, I know. I never got around to buying it. But other than Cubasis, the other DAW is Beatmaker 3. I know I did do a comparison between Koala and Beatmaker. But the synergy between Koala and Beatmaker would be insane. For Nano Studio 2, the synergy between Core Gadget and Nano Studio 2 would be really, really awesome. For Cubasis, the synergy between my iPhone. If I did get it for, for iPhone. But the synergy between the iPhone, the iPad, and my Android phone will be really interesting. And I also want to add in Zenbeats to the mix because it's also a free application. And it would mean I do a lot more Zenbeats videos for Android as well. So I'm leaving it open to you. What DAW would you like me to see me investing more time in, in doing? Again, I, I'm not necessarily giving up on GarageBand. I just want to do an experiment where for, I'll make it a 90 day challenge. For 90 days, I will mainly use one DAW. So leave your thoughts out here. Between Nano Studio 2, Beatmaker 3, Cubasis, and Zenbeat. Which one of these four DAW should I choose? This video is gonna be open. No, the vote's gonna be open all the way till end of December. So feel free to leave your thoughts. And if you're not subscribed, please feel if you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe. It gives you a chance for us to be able to like chat. And you can see my progress with whichever DAW you select. Yeah, like, and I'm serious. I'm going to dedicate a bit more time towards explaining it. But just before I do that, if you noticed, my previous video, I sort of shared a couple of sounds that I really like in GarageBand. I'm doing this for a reason because I do plan on moving. I do plan on transitioning towards other DAWs, but still give you a lot of information based on my tree here. I will work on a review of GarageBand from a three-year perspective so that it gives someone an idea of like learning curve and how I recommend and what I'd say you should look over. Again, it doesn't really have to be my, my thoughts, but it's just my perspective of the application as I've used it. Don't get me wrong, I still love GarageBand. It's, it's one of the best iOS apps I've ever used. But I want to also give some other DAWs a shot. So I can see what, what is it I'm, am I really missing. And I want to see if my style of production, which involves drum, bass, melody, and vocals, if it can easily transition into other DAWs. 
yeah, there's no point in me half assing it. But yeah. Anyways, take it easy. See you now. Wish.